Okay, I'm going to show you how I got through this boss battle. First things first, you're going to want to use two forms. You're going to want to use Brandish, the sword guy, and Battalion, the big grenade guy. They're the ones most useful. Why Brandish? Because you can basically just go right up to Trinity, the final boss, and keep slash, slash, slashing until she's finally weak enough for you to dash through and you can collect the whittle down her health enough to finally get her to her second form. See, even the game will reward you for that. And then with this, you basically just like launch your grenades at her and fire away and then dash again. That simple. Sword, grenade. Sword, grenade. Slashing and slashing, firing and firing over and over, whittling down her health at a pretty fast rate. If all goes well, you should be able to beat her in like, oh, five minutes. But here's the thing. The second form is a bit trickier. And that's why you're going to want to get like an E-Tank or this game's equivalent. And here's the part where I damn near had a brain aneurysm. Because, you see, <laughs> the only way you can fill up that E-Tank, the little blue thing you see up in the corner, the upper left hand corner right there the only way you can fill that up the only way is to beat an enemy it's it's glowing blue and then you dash right on through if it's not glowing blue you won't get any health at all that's how you do it so now you're thinking, oh, well, now that explains why the game wants me to move through it so fast. Yeah, but see, here's the thing that frustrated me. The game never told me you had to do that in order to fill up the E-Tank. So I'd be going through level after level trying to find some explanation for how I could fill up this stuff. And it was only by random chance that... I finally realized, oh, that's why you should, you're supposed to dash through them when they turn blue. That's the bonus that you get. Because, <laughs> again, the game doesn't tell you. It doesn't tell you any of that. And again, the good news is that you can pretty much plow through Trinity very easily using these two forms. And yeah, you can even do like, a, like claim most go through most of her attacks if you have brandish except for this believe me i tried this part for stuff like this you just have to dodge as best you can and it is difficult but the only thing you can do is dodge you can't damage her you have to dodge that's it but then right. she'll go back to this part and you can resume kicking the crap out of her with brandish and battalion it's really just that simple you just gotta keep at it and have an E-Tank on standby after scooping up as many uh, blue glowing defeated enemies as you can. The good news is that if you keep this up and just keep wailing away on her, she'll, be she'll you'll basically be able to like completely beat her in, again, about five minutes. All you have to do is just keep using the sword, keep using the grenade, and then, lo and behold, she'll explode. And then all you have to do is dash right through her core. Come on. Step out of it. Now. But if I can get real for a second, this game is a pretty big disappointment. You can't charge, there's so much of the game that's not explained, the graphics look PS2 era level, and the voice acting is abysmal. It, it's just a really big disappointment for me. I don't even know if it's worth 20 bucks. It's just my opinion, though.